Hey everyone, Paul Johnson, Waconia, Minnesota, and the Laughing Trout Fly Tying Club. Today I'm retying an elk hair caddis. Of course, nothing new with an elk hair caddis. If you go on the internet, you're going to find hundreds and hundreds of videos of how to tie it. Uh, it's a great fly, one that you want to be able to tie. Uh, when I first started tying it, everything would turn out really, really well until I came to do the whip finish, and then the wing would pivot around as I pulled my thread really tight. Uh, so you try adding more glue, uh, all kinds of different things, and nothing worked. And finally came up with a, a something that has helped me, and maybe it'll help you as well. Uh, for a standard elk hair caddis, I always tie it on a size 16 1XL long hook. Uh, I'll use tan ADOT uni thread. The body's going to be tan super fine dubbing. The ribbing is going to be brown rooster hackle. And then, of course, elk hair for the wing. So let's get started. Get the hook inserted in my vise. All right. I'm going to start my tying thread at about the three quarters point. And that's where I'm going to tie in my wing. So it just kind of leaves a little bit of a mark for me. Take my thread to the back of the hook. Now I'll tie in a brown rooster hackle. Now this is actually sized to a size 18 hook versus even though I'm tying it on a size 16 hook and I'll explain that here in a second the big reason for that is you're going to be putting some dubbing on there and with that dubbing it's going to add some thickness to the shank of the hook and with size 16 hackle it actually gets to be too much in my opinion so what I want to do here is just lay a nice smooth base of dubbing up to that three quarter point or so. Now I'll palmer this feather even spaced wraps Do that three quarter point. Tie that off. And I can clip off the excess. All right, now I've already stacked and cleaned a clump of elk hair. And being it's a down wing, when you pull it out of the stacker, make sure you take it out in that direction. Okay, so I've got a, the bundle in my right hand. Measure it up so it goes to the back of the hook. Switch hands. Now I'm going to make two loose wraps and then I'll pull that tight. About three or four more tight wraps right there. Now I'm going to try to lift about a one third of that bundle. Make a tight wrap back in there. Lift a third of that bundle again. So I'm going to lift that third of that bundle about four or five times getting my way right up to the eye of the hook. Okay, now I'm going to make a couple wraps around the eye of the hook. Then I'm going to come back. I'm going to make two tight wraps at my original tie-in point. Come underneath that bundle. A couple of secured wraps around the eye of the hook. And at this point I'll whip finish. Cut off my tying thread. Gather that all up and then I'll come in and with one clip there form the, the traditional head of the elk hair caddis. Now if you have a couple of these hackle fibers that get stuck in there just pull them out with your bodkin. Uh, one thing I wanted to note is that what I've found is that I like to select elk hair uh, select cow elk hair uh, for tying these. I want to have a little bit of compression so that when I tie my thread in that that elk hair will compress a little bit and I think that helps get that nice and tight uh, so it prevents that elk hair from wanting to spin around the hook. So I hope that helps you. If you have any questions give me a call. Thanks.